Hello, everybody. It's the Megalo and Overlord Show. We're back after that whole Tenji debacle. God, that was messed up. Messed up. I think I think we all went through our own brand of depression for a minute. For a minute? It felt like two days. Did? I think it didn't have to be like two days. No, it was one day, man. We just... Time dilation. I'm going... Yeah, I'm pretty like I'm like I'm pretty sure it felt like way longer. So anyways So anyways we're back in it. We're back in it. Toonzy is Toonzy was in the building and then like Jessica Jessica Rabbit just came over there. She was like uh, I'll see you later, boys. And we were like, Well damn. That was like our whole freaking that was like the whole episode. That was going to be like the whole episode. I don't think the people are ready for like how Toonsy cucked Roger Rabbit. It's not, it's not who framed Roger Rabbit anymore. It's who cucked Roger Rabbit. And it was him. Like, and it wasn't even like he seduced Jessica Rabbit. It was just the fact that he was just like really just in the zone and she just, she just fell for that. Hey, it was, hey, no need to be jealous of, just, of Roger Rabbit anymore. Y'all need to be jealous of Toonzy. Z took that. He took that and was like... And they actually do live happily. Like, it ain't just, like... It ain't just them, you know, mindlessly, uh, get, you know, getting through it. If you know what I mean. And they actually do kind of compliment each other. And it's really nice. Yeah. So. So how. So how was your. So how was your. How was your week in your universe. After that. Uh, did a lot of. Did a lot of soul searching. Did a lot of things. Did a lot of like. Just random. Just random, like I was messing around with Mario Paint. You were, yeah. In my corner, just doing doing stuff in Mario Paint. I don't know, it relaxes me. Really? I was actually messing with Mario Paint Composer. Been a, a long time since I touched the stuff, and I just was like, I made the Doctor Mega little theme again. I was like. I was just dancing with it. I was like, I'm Doctor Megalo. Do you do you want to know? Get in my laboratory, and I have a fucked up story. It was it was great. Of course, like of course, I was teaching. Uh, I was teaching. I was teaching Rebecca the finer points of Mario Paint. You know. Yeah, she's like, she's like, she's get. You know, Chaos Lord babies grow a little bit faster than human babies, so like, I was just teaching her the main stuff. It's cute, and I was just so happy. Gadget was like, I think, you know, Gadget after. I put Rebecca down for a nap. She took she took me in the our, our room and well, you know, the usual. The loudest golly you could ever hear in that room, I swear. It was it was magic. Disney Disney magic. <laughs> Do when you wish upon a <clears throat> what like that? <laughs> maybe, maybe it was like that. Man, your your kid could probably sleep through anything if y'all were in the if y'all were in the if y'all were in the mood. Yeah, she's kind of got that for me. We're heavy sleep. You know, I'm a heavy sleeper, so you know, she got that from her old man. But, but other than that. We got five trillion. 
for the for the charity. That's awesome. I'm thinking like let's make a housing complex for all the victims, man. You know, somewhere where they can be safe, away from the, away from away from away from any any dry shit and away from any of these anti dry sentiment motherfuckers. And we could just go from there. What do you think about Seto talking about all the people that were involved in this? She needs to she needs to drop a dime on them right now. Because I'm thinking let's I'm thinking when those names drop, I'm thinking let's have a little fun. You know what I'm saying? You, me, prime. Let's have a little fun with those idiots. Because they allowed this shit to go on. And I'm like, nah. For all the cabots and for all the for all the kids that Tenji done destroyed. I'm thinking what they deserve is worse than whatever demonic has planned for them. True. Eh. I think let's let's figure out the names first, and then then we go and do our thing. So, but after but if we can't, we want to we want to we want to go for breakfast tomorrow. Could we not do Denny's? What? I can't. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. Grand sandwiches are good, dude. No one likes the Grand Slam Witch. You keep on saying it's good. Me and the guys ate it. And it wasn't really good. And I think it gave me a little diarrhea, but to be quite honest. But, you know, so let's... So Kim, I'm going to ask Prime. We're just going to put it up to a vote. Oh, you know, uh, Prime, is, Prime and the others are actually going to do like a Valentine's popularity contest. Well, what? What, out of out of like the six of us, who has the better like who has the better coupling? Oh who, which is the be- who has the better who's who has the better couple out of the out of the six of us. Huh. And you know, T you know, yeah, Botsworth wrote all this stuff about Fifi and TKL, so they're they're like in running. So what it so so, um, what are we going to do? Show, I'm going to show cute things with me and Gadget together. We go from there. What are you going to do? I'm going to, sh- I'm going to, I'm going to literally, I'll figure something out. Noir is going to probably do his usual, like, swing, baby swing. You know, that's, you know, that thing. I can't believe you and... Prime song Frank Sinatra last night. What? Are you surprised that I could sing Fly Me to the Moon? What? You think just because I had had this voice I can't go fly me to the moon? Let me play among the stars, you know? You didn't think I, you didn't think I knew how to do that? I mean, you just don't seem like the type to want to do lounge singing. Well, I don't, but, uh, you know. Every Bugsy has Uncle Scats, I guess you don't. And, you know, that doesn't mean... That's not a... That's not a, that's not a slam at you. I, uh, I don't. I was raised by dark monks. And, uh, never really got to really know my Uncle Scats. Oh. So that's why having Uncle Scats talk to me outside... You know, was pretty nice. I got to understand a lot. And that was good. Well, oh, you know what? You know what other thing I wanted to talk about? What is the, what is the deal? What is the deal with all this Federation love? Who knows, man? Maybe the maybe when the Federation win, maybe like it as a failsafe when the Federation goes down. The 
they kind of made the robots like go into hardcore Federation loyalist mode. That could be an actual thing, you know, just a way to get everybody to build the Federation back up. Yeah. What about Xeon? Dude, who ca- Dude, I'm just like, eh, who cares about Xeon? <laughs> You're gonna get some Xeon people on our asses for that. You know that, right? Hey, I'm just saying... Y'all freaking disbanded, and y'all had freaking Gomon with you guys, who turned into freaking Digi, you know, Digi, Digi Lur. <laughs> can we just say that? Can we just say that like Soldier and the Double Zeta Breaker universe is just racist? Oh God, yes. Motherfucker was talking about Kermit, like. The sin, the sin while race, and, we're, and he was just like saying that Dell, saying that he uh, got down with, got down with the chick that you know got down with Dell's mom. Like we, we both know that Soldier probably ain't never touched a woman. He ain't never known the touch of a woman. He wants to, t- like you know, how Randall says like, you think you're all about the pussy, but we know you're all about the, we know you're all about the slum. I mean, it's pretty obvious that he probably is. Like, dude, he's literally, he literally admitted to, like, wanting to get down with Zachary Hudson. He said if he was a girl. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he said if he was a girl. No, 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 no. This man has gotten, has given that some thought. He has given it some actual factual thought. He's like, well, you know, uh, I could. Um, he's like, you know, I can. I, I see that maybe, maybe, just maybe, maggot, this could work. Is this really? It's just really, 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 really just like weird. And like, I love the mic. I love, I love Mike. He, he's gonna be one of our. He's gonna be one of our like our like just one of our pals. We're gonna get on this show one of these days because I just want to talk to that. I want to talk to Mike and just hang out with him. Yeah, yeah, me too. If he can, if he's putting fucking. If he's putting that fucking bitch soldier in his place, damn, I'm I'm with that. I mean, with all the files we confiscated from the fucking Federation, you would think, you would think that if we ever really reveal what they actually were all about, you'd think everybody would be like, oh shit, Federation's work. I mean, right now, Dry, you know, what Dry did was worse, technically. I mean, I mean, the Federation is like a normal Tuesday in this u- in that universe. Yeah, but the weapons they had against this Chaos Lords is pretty. It's something else either. That one solution thing, the one solution thing is the one. The thing is how sep- how our versions of our bro got sent into the chaos gutters. Oh, that place is horrible. People have been calling it Chaos Lord Hell. Just not hell that a normal part not just not a normal hell for normal things. Now that now that is real dread. That's real terror. And the fact that the Federation had a had a had a actual machine that could do that, that's worse. I can only imagine I can only imagine how Prime feels knowing that his brother is in there. That's the worst. 
That's the kind of hell you wouldn't wish on your worst enemy. Because you would never want something like that. Not even for them. Damn right. But, um, yeah. For right now, I think we should just, like, I think we should just focus on the show and, you know, help. If you, if you got, if you were hurt by Tanji, we would love for you to tell your story in the comments below. Wherever, you know, we're going to do this one on, we're just going to call this a special episode, basically. So, you know, if you got, if you got a story, tell us. You know, because we all know that the what Tenji did was horrible. And if you want to share it, well, our little show is a great place for you to finally share that, share your story. And we promise we'll treat it with the utmost, we'll treat you with the utmost respect. We'll treat you like a king or a queen. Or prince or princess. Straight up. Also, also, we'll uh, we'll set you up with we'll set you up in our uh, yeah the the um, Bugsy Council's villa where you can stay for a few nights, eat, go you know hang out in the creek. Hang out with us while we're playing basketball, you know, stuff like that. Rem but remember, if you step on that basketball court and we're there, you are going to see some, you're gonna see one of us get our ankle. One of us is gonna break someone's ankles. Just, just thought you'd know that. And to that, and to the monst to the monsters that are now put to rest. To that firing squad, get the Ramile, uh, what, Ramile Army Corps, whatever. We salute you for that, and we wish, we hope that next time something like this happens, we're with you, rather than finding it out and then, you know, flipping the fuck out. Yeah. Remember. If you ever need to talk, we also have something. We're also gonna um, in the um, in our in our in our factions uh, Discord. We're going to um, open up. We're going to open up some more uh, channels for you know because we're actually thinking of like doing. We're actually thinking of actually. Um, doing some things live so you guys can actually, you know, interact with us in real time. So we're going to probably be doing uh, the Overlord Megalo show live. It's going to be great. We'll see you guys later. Peace. We hope you enjoyed this very special episode of Megalo and Overlord only on YouTube and only on the, only on the website for right now. Peace.